Hey guys, so this week I reached out to Zach Houghton. He's the Director of Strength and Conditioning up at Northern Michigan University. And Zach's in a uh, scenario that a lot of strength coaches may find themselves in, where Zach played ball at Wayne State University, and then he did an internship for Strength and Conditioning, and then he was a grad assistant, and then he became an assistant, all at the same place where he played at. So I wanted to reach out to him because I know a lot of strength and conditioning coaches get started in the field at the same place that they might have played their sport at. And talk to him and have you guys and get his understanding of what it's like to uh, work in that same university or college and then build into that profession from there. And some challenges you may face and other uh, obstacles along the way. So. Zach gives a lot of great information here. I know you guys are going to take a lot of good things from him. He's a great guy to get in touch with. He's always open to talk shop. And anything you ever want to know, just feel free to ask him. I'll leave his information at the bottom. Big ups to Zach. I appreciate you doing this for me. I know you're real busy up there. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and stay strong. Hi, this is Zach Howell. I'm the head strength and conditioning coach up at Northern Michigan University. John Norcott from John Norcott's No Nonsense training page asked me to answer a couple questions for you guys. Uh, you know, those questions were, you know, what was it like to start your career, start as an intern at the same place that you played at? And, uh, you know, how what was it like to make the transition from player to coach with guys that you were playing with just a couple months prior? And I think that I'm not the only guy that has been in this situation. I know that a lot of people have interned and uh, and GA and become an assistant at the same place they played at. And they'll tell you the same thing that I'm going to tell you is that if you want to do this and this is something that you take seriously, then you want to become a professional, um, then then you need to kind of separate yourself from what the athletes are doing. You can't, you know, you can't go out on a Saturday night after a big win with the boys and have beers. You know, you can't. Uh, you can't go over to the house on Thursday night just because you just because you know them and you're friends with them. Um, you know, wait until they graduate to hang out, man. Uh, it's just the way it is. And if you want to be a professional, that's how things got to be done. Um, you know, there were a lot of there were a lot of pros to me interning and starting my career at Wayne State. And you know, the, the big pros with that is I had a great you know a couple of great mentors. You know, Coach Mendoza at Wayne State is well respected throughout this field. You know, he's been in a lot of big time places and continues to make. You know, it, his big time where he's at. You know, and uh, and Coach Karazak, Bryce Karazak, you know, he was a great individual to learn from, and ended up being one of my best friends and one of the best men in my wedding. Uh, you know, and I think if you have an opportunity to learn, no matter where you are, then then go do it. You know, you can learn from any, you know every single strength coach out there. You have an opportunity to sit down and talk to him, or sit down and intern, or. Uh, you know, go be go be a GA. You know, go get as many experiences as you can because you know, they're hard to come by now. Where um, you know you have an opportunity to you know get yourself into a position to learn on a consistent basis. You know, have a hands-on approach, and that's what Coach Mendoza did for me. You know, he's not a micromanager. I had an opportunity to develop my own programs, and as long as they were sound, and he looked at them, and um, you know, and, and go through and, and start my start my programs, start my strength and conditioning programs, and and get after it a little bit and you know and there's, there's that's the way to learn I think you know is to kind of be thrown into the fire and figure it out along the way and I think every single coach will tell you that's how they go about doing things and you know sometimes that's how you gotta learn you know you develop and develop and you do things the best of your ability sometimes they don't work and you just have to adjust for next time and you know I, I think that there was definitely some uh, some things that you know, when interning at the same place or being a GA at the same place that you played at, you know, I think that you got to look at um, there are some things that are going to be a little more comfortable. You're going to know all the coaches. You're going to know the athletes. You're going to know the situation that you're going to be in. And that's something that you got to look at, too. That's something that, uh, you know, that played a big factor in, you know, what we were doing and uh, played a big factor in what I did as a strength coach. You know, it was nice to be able to stay around home and uh, be around my wife and, um, you know, and, and kind of start life outside of college football. Uh, you know, and when, when you talk about uh, being around the guys that you play with just a couple months prior, you know, if this is what you want to do, you have to separate yourself. You know, if this is what you want to do, then you have to separate yourself from the athletes, separate yourself from the, uh, from the people that you knew prior and understand that this is what you want to do, this is how you're going to do it, and you got to take the correct steps. Don't jeopardize an opportunity because you wanted to go out on a Saturday night and hang out, or you wanted to go out Saturday night and get, you know and drink beers because that one night can jeopardize everything that you've got going for you right now. 
and uh, you really got to take a, take a second and think think about those things because, uh, like I said, a lot of these opportunities don't come along very often, and you got to jump at some things. And if you screw them up like that, I mean, you, you know, you, you're hurting yourself in the long run. But you know, overall, yes, yeah, I did intern at the same place that I play, played at. Yeah, I did be in, become an assistant at the same place that I played at. But I had an opportunity to move on, and I did. You know, I, I moved out to Eastern PA. I'm Ravian College. I worked there for about two and a half years, and ended up, you know, back here in this August. And it's uh, you know, it's it's nice to go out and learn and experience new things. You know, and you will get an opportunity to if you do a good job where you're at, even if it is at the same place that you played at. Just do a great job wherever you're at. You know, work your ass off wherever you're at, and continue to you know and to continue to learn and continue to try and get better. And you're gonna continue to have great opportunities kind of come towards you. And uh, I'm a firm believer in that. I'm a firm firm believer in the fact that if you work hard, um, you earn you know you earn what comes to you. You know, I, I'm. Not a big, not a big uh, fan of the deserve, deserve category. But it, you know, you, you earn what you get, and if you work your ass off and you continue to work and work for these, work and work for these people, then you're going to continue to have opportunities come to you, and uh, it's just a matter of time. But uh, thanks, John, um, and I hope everybody else got some information that will help them a little bit in this five-minute piece. Have a good day.